Tonight, a Jacksonville woman is outraged after finding out hundreds of students at Oak Hill Elementary on the west side will be moving to other schools next year. A letter was sent home with students this week. It says Duval County is considering a proposal to, quote, repurpose the school into a facility for students with autism or related disabilities. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker spoke with a woman and the school superintendent. My nephew does attend the school as well, and he could be in part of this group of kids. In fact, he will be in a group of kids who will have to find somewhere else to go. This is the letter that upset this mother who has a preschooler at Oak Hill Elementary School. The letter states that a proposal is currently being considered to repurpose Oak Hill into a school for students with autism or related disabilities. Though her preschooler would not be affected by the possible change, she says her nephew would along with hundreds of other students. This school has been a neighborhood staple for years. Why are you coming over here now saying it's going to be a boundary change? Why does a low-income neighborhood always have to find a way? Why do their kids have to find a way to go to another school? I took those very questions to Superintendent Nikolai Vitti, who says working groups and community meetings have been occurring since June, and three took place at the school in November. He says Oak Hill is ideal. We also think Oak Hill is the right placement, not only because there's already a unit there, so there's work that's already being done with autistic children, but more importantly, Oak Hill is a school that has been historic, historically low performing for several years. Vitti says Oak Hill has been an F school for three consecutive years and is projected to be an F even this school year. The school is only using about 60% of the building and Duval County cannot continue to put more and more resources into a school that is not performing. So we think uh, we can use the building to serve this niche of students that we can serve better um, while simultaneously the students at Oak Hill can go to schools that are close by, higher performing, with transportation, and it's a win-win. If the proposal is approved, students will have the option of going to Cedar Hills, Gregory Drive, or Jacks Heights. Transportation to those schools will be provided. The staff will be guaranteed placement at other schools. Funding for the project is estimated to be at roughly $577,000, coming from the IDA, which is the federal budget for students with disabilities. In the end, as we continue to go year after year in making these changes, people are realizing that they're child-centric and, and they're more efficient economically regarding taxpayer dollars. And I think that's where we're headed and that's where we're going to head as a, as a school district. Dr. Vitti also wants to make clear that just because your child has autism does not qualify them a guaranteed position at the school. If you do have a student who attends Oak Hill, we have more information on newsforjacks.com. There's also a meeting about school changes on Monday. It starts at 6 p.m. at Lakeshore Middle School. The superintendent will be there.